Hi everyone, we're going to do more difficult uh, uh, problems with sets and counting that involve complements of a set. And what I suggest you do is write these sets down. We have the universal set, and then we have set A, B, and C. So you, if you pause it, because I'm not going to write it down on each slide. So if if you to remind you, the complement of a set can either be written with tilde A or bar A. And I use bar A because that's what we do in our class with our book. So basically, the complement of A is everything that's not that's in the universal set, but not in A. And in that case, that would be zero. Uh, 2, 6, 7, and 8. All right. Um, the, and the same thing for the complement of C. That would be everything that's not in C, but it's in the universal set. So that would be everything not in C would be 0, comma, 2, comma, 5, comma, 7, comma, 8, comma, 9. So that's what the complement means. And so we're going to do double complements and things like that. So it's going to get a little harder. Please write um, these down. Okay, the next one we're going to do is this one. This is going to be uh, A intersects with B, and we want the complement of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down my A. And intersect it with my B. And then when I after I do that, I'm going to find the complement. So when I intersect those two, um, the only two that are the same are four. So I get four. And then I'm going to complement that. So uh, everything that's in the universal set that's not 4. So I'm writing down the universal set basically, but without the 4. So that would be 0, 1, 2, 3, skip in the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, here's a similar one. We're going to do B union with C, and then do the complement of that. So I'm just going to write down B, which is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, unites with 1, 3, 4, 6, union. These two are getting married. And then we're going to um, take what's not in that and look at the universal set. So when I put these together, that's everything that's in both, which would be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, there's no 5, 7, and 8. Then I'm going to take the complement of that. So we don't want any of these numbers. So what's left in the universal set? And we get 0, 5, and 9. Okay? Now here's a different one. We have um, the complement of A unites with the complement of B. So basically, the ones not in A, and that's what I'm going to write down, I'm going to write what's not in A, which is 0, 2, 6, 7, and 8, and unite what's not in B. What's not in B is 0, 1, 3, five, nine. So remember, unite means either or or both. So it's just everything, but don't write things down twice. Nice to write it in order. It just looks better that you don't have to, but it looks better that way. All right. And then we have, uh, let's try, let's if I can get on the same page. B, the complement of B, intersects with the complement of C. So I'm going to write down what's not in B. And 
and it intersects with what's not in C, which is 0, 2, 5, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, and then the intersection is what's common to both, which is 0, uh, 5, and 9. And you write those down, so that would be 0, 5, 9. All right, now we're going to go a little more complicated. We're going to do the complement of A intersecting with the complement of C. So what I'm going to do is write down A first. Four, five, and nine. It's going to intersect with what's not in C. So what I'm writing down is what's not in C. What's not in C, oops, sorry. What's not in C is zero, comma, two, and five, seven, eight, and nine. And then, so I'm going to unite those two. When I unite those two, I get uh, five, comma, nine, what's common to both. Then, when I take the complement of that, um, this means everything in the universal set that's not 5 and 9, which would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Now let's do... We That one's very similar. Let's do two more. Let's do... Um, a unites with B, unites with C, and then what's not in both of those. So I'm going to write down A, and then I'm going to write down B, I'm going to write down C, And then when I figure out what unites, okay, so the intersection of all of this is, uh, not the intersection, the union is all of them basically. So that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And then I'm going to look at my universal set, and the only thing that's not in this set that's in the universal set is zero. So that's my answer. And we can do one more. That's opposite. It's kind of the intersection. A intersects with B, intersects with C, then the complement of that whole thing. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to write down A. I'm going to write down B. And I'm going to write down C. Okay, and this is the intersection. Well, the only thing in common for all three of these is 4. It has to be all three. So that would be 4. But I want the complement of that. So I look at my universal set and I write down everything but 4. I'm skipping four. Okay, that's all of that. The next video we're going to go over is um, the counting principle, the number of items in a set, and uh, do some problems based on that. Thank you and have a nice day.